Uh, good morning, good afternoon, uh, good evening, all the good things, ladies and gentlemen. So, we have ourselves uh, rank 34 in Grand Arena. Uh, there are some unexpected wild cards that have been popping up in Grand Arena. Uh, people from like Sova 2, I mean 435 or some craziness like that, that are just barely like 105 with Glory Awakened Heroes and it just, yeah, ridiculousness. Anyways, let's claim our awards. Nice to see. We should also finish probably top 20 on the other events. We'll go see right now. What was our ranking? Oh. Weird. We should have the Rune event awards. Uh, that seems to be delayed. Anyways, let's go over here. Grab our logins. Go spin. Hope for something good. Yes, that is so good. That is... Oh, that is so good. That was actually very good, because those are ones we can choose. Uh, so we're going to actually go over to... I know. But anyways, we are going to actually go get ourselves Death Mage to level 9 right now. As we see, we have the materials right now. We did also open our um, packs... We do have her crystal. We just need one more medium, but we need the two seniors for her. We're also going to be getting uh, Iron Huff tomorrow, level 10. So that would be nice. Maybe even get Death Mage. We'll see. So if we go over here to Colorful Wreath, I actually claimed my awards for this. And we actually opened these boxes. I posted on my Discord what we got for my awards. We actually got ourselves our hands on two amazing dedicated crystals which are going to help us down the road for sure we got ourselves a queen uh queen of sea and also depths voice so that's going to be very nice so we can actually get them sorted out uh let's go and we also got another issue out issue out tour so that is good actually let's go here i think it's aries the one that we want aries is magic power right can't to toast there it is now these are going to be randomized, so we're going to see what, uh, that was such a good award. Ooh, that might actually be some good, good stuff. Let's go to Einhof. We do have, as we see, the event going on. So let's see. Ooh, that's actually good. Dodge rate, magic resistance, attack damage. That's actually pretty good. Strength, armor class, armor class, magic resistance. Actually really good. So. I'm going to take this off and throw you in. Going to take off this. I know this this one's very good. It's going to go to another hero that's going to need it. And we're going to put back the Aries. So we have all Mythic stats. So this is going to be nice. <clears throat> A little bit of extra magic resistance. We do lose a good, um, what's I think, like 15,000 plus. Mm, ah. Magic armor and um, HP. So in some magic arm, magic resistance and armor class, but we'll get it built up throughout as we do this. We do have dodge rate still, which is very good. We have now him with this wonderful effect. So let's go actually. Where is it? I'm gonna save you. Make sure you don't get infused. You can get infused. Now. Which one is the best one to level up right now? Probably going to be this one. With the extra dodge rate. So let's infuse it. If we auto add, how high can we go? We can go up to three. Hmm. Magic resistance to 86. Attack damage to 379, dodge rate to 11, intellect, maybe not this one. Let's go actually, we have this one I think. Uh, this one has magic power and dodge rate. It does have HP though, so that's tough to decide which one's the... Uh, yeah, no, this will probably be the better one to actually infuse up to. Let's go back down, take off the mythic so we can save them for other stuff. I'll keep that one down. Get rid of those. 
Okay. This should be good enough. We get it to level 3. We're going to infuse it. Now, let's go to Vine. Okay. The higher we can get that magic resistance, the better, because that's the thing he struggles with the most. We're going to actually spend all of our uh, starlight. They need to give us more starlight for events and everything else, because it's kind of mediocre, to say the least. And if I remember correctly, increasing your intellect does also increase how much magic resistance you gain. But... Oh yeah, look at that. I'm getting that dodge rate up there too. And then we'll do, be able to do it one more. Very nice. So now our Iron Hub stats should be looking a little bit better. We did lose some HP. Uh, not the biggest loss in all honesty. 74,000 power. Pretty nice. We do have him with. Let's see these stats now. 900 extra attack, 5,000 HP, that's okay, 800 magic power, which is useless, but 305 um, uh, magic resistance, 229 armor class, helps because it actually applies to his um, skin effect, which makes it so he deals a lot of damage with his ultimate, which we're going to be upgrading tomorrow, dodge rate 52, that is so nice, bonus from being healed, generates per round, uh, we're going to actually get all our other heroes to like rank 60 right now for artifacts before we start focusing on our tanks. Because we got our three main damage dealers. Actually level 80 artifacts. We have Death Mage. I mean, sorry, not Death Mage. Death Mage needs artifact. Ice Mage, Emerald Mage, and Queen of Sea. Ember Star, we might get to 80. Um, but I kind of want to get all my other characters to 40. Like, for example, she's only 41 depths worse and she's actually one of my main tanks. It can use it for a lot of things. We will also be getting her to rank uh, Awaken level 10 at some point. Now, let's go over for who else is utilizing. I'm going to go Filter. We're going to go Aries. Who else is using Aries that I wanted to switch? These ones I just took off too. Hubbard Master used to have... Ah, oh, that's who it was. We're going to go straight up to Spell Swordsman. He's going to gain these ones we just took off. Okay. Oh, these are the tunnels. Yeah, that's fine. We'll take that one off. Put this one on. We'll take that off for sure. And then put that on there. And now he's going to become a way better tank. As you can see, he just gained 22,000 HP. Uh, from those two artifacts. Do we actually have an extra... No, we don't have an extra mythic one. Man, that would have been nice. But he gained an additional, oh, only 39 magic resistance, it's not that good, 60, <laughs> 69, immature, yes, 69 dodge rate, which is actually really nice, so we're going to go straight over, I forgot who, what I gave to, oh, I gave her Virgo, I don't have any more Virgos left for her, so it's okay, now let's go over to the event, we do have the Astral Love Cradle. Let's see if it has changed the artifacts. It is going to be long one for Libra, Capricornius, and Leo. So Capricornius is the one that makes it so you have a chance to ignore magic, magic community and knock back targets, which is very good. I would highly recommend this for I Emerald Mage, uh, maybe even Ice Mage. Knockback's really good. Leo kind of seems inconsistent. I wish it was a little bit better. Because uh, I have Leo on both my Doomsday Artillery and Sniper, and they never, and I mean never, get that shot that matters to stun or even kill a um, Spell Swordsman when he's immune. I could just put in Ancient Lamp Genie, who negates immunity effects with his skin on, but that's too much work. So we kind of probably go for Libra if we get any extra materials lying about for the Astral Stones. And we'll probably focus on getting ourselves the wonderful <clears throat> ancient lamp genie stronger. Now we are rank two right now. It'd be nice if we could keep this rank, but I'm probably not going to. The people in my guild are very, very crazy with how fast they rank up. 
Now let's collect ourselves some wonderful those, collect our coins. Oh, I should have done it one at a time, the levels, because now it got messed up. It's fine. We're going to save all this extra starlight that we get for the next event. Well, actually, you know what? No, let's put this all back into Iron Hoof, because I kind of want Iron Hoof to just be crazy cracked. Okay. Just straight over here, click Iron Hoof. We are getting some big upgrades for this one, fair. Which one is the one that has HP? It's this one, right? Okay, we're going to increase this one. Ugh, we lost 500 HP. Unfortunate. There we have a thousand extra attack, a thousand magic power. <laughs> I just find that funny. What is the set bonus if we go over to him? That's not the right key I meant to click on. Now, Astrolobe effects. What is it 271 additional magic resistance from that? Wow, that is definitely worth it because now we have a tankier uh, tank. His issue is he dies all the time, and I mean all the time to Queen of Sea. Because she just does so much damage. But he does have a lot of HP. You know, as you can see, he went for, he lost like a good chunk of HP. Unfortunate. But we are going to be awakening him to level 10 tomorrow. Maybe. No, we should be able to. We're going to be able to get our two crystals from him. And then I can make myself one more medium for sure. Um, and yeah, that's going to be nice increasing the knockback effects. And skill rate to 100%. We could actually focus on getting his artifact to level 80. He's definitely going to be a tank that we're going to have to start focusing on a little more. But anyways, let's go over here. Go to the symbol event. Now I'm debating because I don't actually have a lot of this. But I might be... See, okay, we'll see. We have 100 of these. Go over here. We need grab. No, we'll grab four. Actually, no. Yeah, well, it's kind of worth it because we want to get ancient limb genie more survivability, but hmm, it's tough to decide what I want. These are just the blue ribbons, which isn't too hard to get. You can get yourself another crystal for Death Mage. What do we need? We need mediums, right? One more medium and one more senior. Let's actually just buy the senior straight out. Keep clicking the wrong one. It's celebrate excellence. Ex elegance. I was going to say excellency. So grab this. It's going to give us one of those. We're going to need one more medium crystal for her. So if we actually go up here, let's grab this. Go straight down. Convert that into some mediums. Yeah, we haven't... It's what, four? Yeah, four for a medium crystal. So we will have enough for Iron Huff. Um, worst case scenario, we might not. But we'll see. Death Mage, Death Mage, Death Mage. We could actually make the... Hmm. We'll see. Sorry. I'm all over the place. There is no music, right? There is music. Oh my god. This game. <sighs> so we got upgrades for Death Iron Huff. We are going to be upgrading Death Mage a little bit more too. We need an artifact for her. She's going to be so strong with an artifact. I'm really thinking about making these crystals she has straight into another one. You know what? Let's just do that because we won't be able to get her today. But if we go down here, if we save 250 of the blue ribbons, we can actually just buy this. So let's just convert those into a medium. Or me the mediums into a senior. 
Where is she? There she is. I hope they give us an event for uh, Vengeance Spirit so we can actually get our skin. Should be very nice, but you know. Let's see if the rewards on here yet. Nope. Okay. And uh, no real big fights this uh, game. I kind of been doing my crusades a little too fast. Definitely nice for the upgrades for Iron Huff for the Ash Love event. Surprised it didn't give us any more score. Oh, it did. Actually, let's go spin these, see if we can get anything more. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, that's so nice. The game is shooting me very good. That's fine. If we get this again, that'd be just insanity. Imagine getting it on a double, too. I think that should be a minimum of double what it is, but you know, let's go check what we got for that. Another mythic, hopefully? Probably gonna be a tonal. No, it's a mythic. Cancel, too. Let's go over to actually Queen of C. Where is Queen of C? What is this one? This one's magic resistance, intellect, agility, armor class, armor class. This is, ooh. Yeah, we're gonna swap these out. Go straight over to, where is he? Okay, and Sepa. This one's attack damage, damage. Okay. That one we're definitely keeping on Sepa. That one's so good. This one's okay. Good. This one's actually pretty good too. Uh, long one. This gives him more survivability. Plus, it's a mythic, so he does gain more dodge rate. But we need one more mythic. So, once we get another mythic for him, we will actually be switching out these ones. But chill then. This is a good one to keep locked. Let's see if we can actually infuse. Okay. Wait, actually, no. Let's do the one that's the crazy one. This one here. No, okay. Da, 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 da. Sorry. <laughs> I know there's TV in the background. Actually, no. Just let's leave this. This is such a good one. Let's infuse this. We'll keep those ones left. Do we have... We don't. Man, that would have been nice if we had enough for one more. Okay, sorry. We are trying our best to keep up on this rank of this event, but we probably will be dropped down pretty low. Almost 5,000 already. Anyways, let's actually go test out some uh, Iron Huff. Do we have Crusade still? We did Crusade already. Unfortunate. Two hours still on this. Swap you out for Iron Huff. We do want to finish Sapo skin, but I just I can't put myself through doing Brave Duel. It just takes forever to find a match and. I had to do so many and spend so much gems on that. I was just like, what's the point? I just need 80 more fragments of sap when I have a skin. We'll do it slowly. Now, let's actually swap you two out. I'm going to throw you in, and then we're going to throw in uh, Angel Lab Genie. Now, let's see your Death Mage in action, and I know. If I know this video is going to be a little bit longer. Uh, <laughs> I've just been focusing on leveling up heroes. Oh, Iron Hoof is definitely getting there. Ooh, I can't wait to see him better. I was thinking about buying it because it's Astrolope events, but you know. 
He doesn't really have too many magic heroes. He has a Sapo on us too. Sapo's about to die. Sapo's dead. Come on, hit him with it. That's. Yep, there we go. I right, know this team's gonna be disgusting. As you can see, Death Mage is doing not crazy amounts of damage because she didn't get her ultimate off. But the moment she gets an artifact, she will be slaying people left and right. It won't even be fair. Like, yeah, we can just do Death Mage for this one. I want her silence to deal damage. I want her artifact to make it so it ignores magic resistance. But I think because of how she is, it might be a little too strong. Because um, watch, she's going to do so much damage right there. And we have Cosmic in our Discord now too, which is very nice. Wonderful to have Cosmic there. The Death Mage export themselves. <clears throat> yeah, not too bad. Thinking about giving her Libra, because that's what we had before. Let's actually put our team back together. Rush through this as fast as possible. We're also going to be getting Emerald Mage hopefully a little bit higher too. Because uh, we did get her Crystal, so we should get her to 10 as well. I think what the focus is going to be is for Queen of Sea right after Iron Hoof. Then after Iron Hoof, uh, Queen of Sea is going to be definitely Emerald Mage. For Awakening Dungeon. I wish we could get Scarlet Sickle a little bit more easier. Like the event uh, hero soul should be switched out because I would love to be able to farm... Scarlet Sickle, because I want to get her potential higher. Oh, this is going to be a much fight, much harder fight for sure. Okay, let's see how this goes. I need to also be doing more... I, I hate it so much. I need to do more of the camps to gain uh, totems higher. But it just... The totem... Ah, the totem coins take forever to shift through, because you can only buy five at a time. Okay, let's see. Come on, Death Mage, stay alive. I feel like Death Mage is going to be even... Oh no, she died. She... Yikes. We're invisible game. Wow, that was stupid. Just shows you how stupid strong she is for um, Queen of Sea. The moment Queen of Sea gets a skin, she'll be too strong. <sighs> we should have won that fight, but you know what? It's okay. Ancient Lamp Genie, you failed us, man. Gonna swap you out for Monster Hunter. Where is he? There he is. The potential. It was there. We could have won the match, but we failed. He does have Monster Hunter and Death Mage as well. But Death Mage is going to be one of the better free to play heroes to level up because she does great damage uh, once she gets an artifact. That's the only thing holding her back is an artifact. I will probably go for an all offensive one. Uh, give her Scorpio, probably, or even uh, Capricornius. I kind of am wondering how Capricornius works with her because, like with Emerald Mage, right, all of her summons gain the bonus effect from Capricornius. They can ignore magic resistance or magic immunity by a chance and can cause knockbacks. I wonder if, are you just like playing pinball with people when you have Death Mage Ultimate going off with Capricornius? Uh, we might even go Aquarius just so we can get an ultimate faster and increase our magic power even higher. We'll see. It was all right. Apologies, I didn't know how long the video was cut out for, so I uh, did the awakening dungeon as well. We just sped through that. We're gonna actually go claim the awards right now because we're gonna do the Iron Hoof video right after this. But this is going to be the outro. Um, let's grab all this. We should. No, we're gonna be slightly short. Yeah. Unfortunate. Grab all the wonderful sh loot.
Steps voice in here as well. Am I blind? We could actually get that major. Huh. You know what? Let's actually get Death Mage and uh, Iron Hoof to level 10. Maybe. Oh, no. Can I get. I'm pretty sure I can get. Iron Hoof is. I thought Iron Hoof was in this one as well. I'm just blind. Let's go over to Iron Hoof. Can we get him to 10 or are we just slightly short? Uh, we're slightly sh Wait, no. We actually have exactly enough to get high enough to turn. Uh, so. It's gonna be the outro for the other video. I hope everyone have a wonderful day. We're gonna have... We're gonna make this other video because I do have to work tomorrow pretty early. Um. We're gonna make the Iron Huff and Death Mage to level 10 video for tomorrow. Yep, we have exactly enough. Well. Anyways, everyone have a wonderful day and, uh, goodbye.